Welcome to Pro Tools First for Beginners Part 2. Remember to subscribe to creatingtracks.com for more exciting tracks. Now I know you want to get into recording, but we got a few more small details to sort out first before we're ready to really jump into things. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at our screen. You've got Pro Tools, but on the top you'll see a little icon which has a show and a hide, and you click the show button. And what it's going to tell you is stuff that's going to happen. It's an application manager. So we're going to sign into that, put your email address and password, and it gets some subscription data. It speaks to the internet and goes, whoa, who's this person? What's happening? And it finds you. And it says you've got Pro Tools first. Yes, good. It tells you that you've got Pro Tools first 12301, which you should have. And it's got a free Expand to plugin that we'll talk about later. It's got something about apps there. It's got some licensing information and your support information. We're going to focus on apps and we're going to go down to the Avid Application Manager, which has an update button. So we're just going to see that everything is new and updated. So we click the update button and it downloads the application manager. It'll take some time to get through. So I'm just going to skip through that process and not let you watch the screen for years and years and years. And so once it downloads, uh, what happens is it says install. We click the install button and it said extracting and it does a whole bunch of magic stuff. We say it'll put something on your computer. You say sure, continue, go ahead. And then it'll say, okay, I'm going to help you do this. Continue. You agree with what they say. You say agree. Read it if you want to. Click the install button. And it has to close it to reinstall it. Say, fine, if that's what you want to do, do it. Uh, so we close the application. And then it opens itself up. Again, it asks you for your avid password again. You put it in and say, install the software. And then it goes through and it writes a whole bunch of stuff down and makes everything look really fancy. And once that all happens, we can go through and we have it all installed. Now we're finally going to go and open Pro Tools first. And it says, Welcome to Pro Tools first. It gives you a few playback engine options. Uh, it's got the Pro Tools aggregate, which I suggest you select. It has other options such as the built-in microphone and the built-in output. For now, just leave it as it is. It's pretty clever. It kind of knows what it's doing. Uh, so we just leave this Pro Tools aggregate and we just say OK. We wait for it to open up and it has a whole bunch of presets that we can choose. Ready things ready for us to use. So we can have a look at them. There's a big list of them where you can choose to open files once you've created them. We go back to create and we I think we'll choose uh, maybe songwriter but before we go there the other option you have is you can click the button up there create from template and make up your own which is completely empty but for now let's just choose songwriter for today and we go create now what happens is um, again not in the background says yo 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 Pro Tools is opening it's doing something funny just say save and then it says some inputs are missing and you say that's fine for now let's just go ahead and it says where do you want to save it what's the name and where do you want to save it and you're like fine just save it wherever you want to put it through and it says there's no expand to plugin do you want to go and find it and buy this plugin and all this says buy this plugin for now we're just going to say yes because we're going to see what what happens something magical is going to happen so we have a white screen and a few seconds it goes bit bit bop 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 and it changes color and magically it seems to say expand to now expand to is this brilliant software that's going to change change your life it's basically a whole bunch of instruments that are triggered by midi and the best part about it is that when you click the download button it tells you that it is free the annual subscription is zero so it's got some information at the bottom telling you um, what it involves. And it's basically a whole bunch of instruments and it's really cool. And you can make great music just using it. Um, so you can read all about it and then you can go up. And once you've had a read, we're going to click the annual subscription button. Um, it's a bit tricky to find, but that's the button we press. It doesn't say like start or anything. And it takes you through, through the process of downloading it it'll take some time it'll download it. it'll go through the process it'll install it so i'm going to skip all that because that'll just take long based upon your connection and next thing you know it's all ready to go 
So let's press this green button here, which is the play button, and whoa, there we go. We've got some sound effects happening. Yeah, so you should hear the sound of the music playing at the moment. And that's what we want to hear. Woohoo! So that's the sound of the drums. We've got something coming out of Pro Tools. So join us soon for part three where we're actually going to record some real instruments on top of this and make it really exciting. So I'll see you soon. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.